Hi everyone, my name is Alicia Roby and I'm an art activities leader with the special project. Since we can't be together in person, I wanted to show you an activity that you could do at home uh, by yourself or with your family. We're going to work on some weaving boards. This is just cardboard and yarn and string. So let's get started. So you can actually work on a small board or a big board. You could make it even bigger than this if you wanted to. First, I'm going to show you how we create the warp. So first, you will want to go through and cut these little cuts, top and bottom, and you want them to be lined up as best as possible all the way over. Then we'll take some string, and we'll hold one over like this, and I'm going to hold it with my fingers, because now I'm going to go around and make the warp. Just fit the string right there in that little slot and keep going. Oops, missed one. Let's go back. Not look even on the back but it's looking even up here where I'm looking so see we end and this is what it looks like on the front this is your loom and the strings that go up and down are called your warp so we could tie this off in the back but I'm not going to do that just now I will show you on the bigger loom this is how I tied it so let me adjust my camera here and I will show you how I put this beautiful yarn on this and start weaving to make something like this. Okay, so I like to put a little bit of tape on the end just because it keeps it from getting frayed. Now you can start this a few different ways. But I find this the easiest, especially if you're new to weaving, is to just tie this on. And we can trim it up later. But you want to tie it on nice and tight so it doesn't come off. And now we're just going to go over, under, over, under. So we'll go over this one. And then we'll pick this up and go under and then over under over under over under now we'll pull now you want to be mindful not to pull too hard because then you pull your warp so let's straighten this out and then we'll take it and we'll go right back the other way see we're under so we're going to go over it now. Now remember, don't pull too hard. And then you're actually going to bunch it up a little bit closer. And let's do one more. This activity is great to do with little kids and you can share stories about how you may have done this when you were younger. It really builds a sense of community with caregivers and children. And also this is a really impressive project to do. So it also shows a sense of accomplishment when your um, friends or loved ones finish the full board. And that's all I'm gonna show you today. I look forward to seeing what you put together if you want to take pictures and share it in the comments, I'd love to see them. Thank you.